Oops. Hi guys, I like to buy toys and I bought another toy, of course. Unify 6 Lite. It's um, an access point with dual band from Ubiquiti. The reason I bought this is I wanted a better coverage in my house. Okay, so let's see what's inside. Apart from the device itself, you have some stuff which you can use. This one you can mount it on the wall and this one is for mounting on the ceiling. Information about it and that's pretty much it. Let's see what's in this small bag. Various things to attach it to wall or to the ceiling. There is a very nice PDF online with this information. Check it out. The only thing I'm showing you now is what this tool does. You see this, you will have to attach your device to it and then rotate it, but you will not be able to remove it afterwards. So that's why you have this tool. You introduce it here. You see what it does and then you can rotate it. This cable comes from a power over Ethernet switch, so this should power on our device. But if you do not have a switch which is capable of delivering power over Ethernet, if you look at the package, Unify 6 Lite, it doesn't have power adapter. So you need to buy something like this. 48 volts is important this one is bought separately there is another thing which you can do you see this part here is removable because otherwise your your cable will not be able to fit it's a small plastic thing okay perfect it delivers up to 1.5 gigabits per second aggregate radio with 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz radios what this means, you ask? Well, if your device can connect to 5 GHz, you get up to 1.2 gigabits per second. If you can connect only to 2.4 GHz, you get 300 megabits per second. Clear? Clear. Flashing white means it is booting. Now it's not no more booting, it's booted and you have only white light. White, steady white, it means the device is waiting adoption. Huh? Waiting for adoption. Now, the only thing we have to do is to configure it. If you have seen my video about UAP ACM, this one is no different. You need either Unify Network App on your phone or Unify Controller in order to set it or manage it. But it's very simple. If you want to adapt it as independent device, which probably most of you will do. You just need the app on your phone and you select it, you connect to it. There will be a message. It will tell you that you are about to set up an independent access point. This will mean you will use it as standalone. You will be able to work with it and to manage it only via the application. And that's it. You press continue without console. And then next, you will select a name for your Wi-Fi, test, password, and in advanced options, you have separate 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks. Okay, and next. There is a recovery password, which is automatically generated. You can put another one if you want. Next. Now the device will be configured and this means this device will be standalone. You will not be able to adapt it later to Unify controller or Unify network that you already have. Okay, so now you are ready to join your Wi-Fi network and do your stuff. Of course, there are limited um, access point functions. Without Unify controller, you will not be able to set up a lot of options. But 
Of course, not everybody has Unify Controller application or Unify Controller the device because there are devices, and, but there are also applications which you can install on your Windows or Mac or via Docker, on Linux, whatever. So you do not especially need an uh, actual device in order to uh, benefit fully of this access point. I will reset it and I will show you how to adapt it via Unify Controller. Yeah, because I already have a device, is this one, White Alien. When I will add the second one, I don't have to create another Wi-Fi network if I don't want to. I can use both access points to the same Wi-Fi network. I will reset it now and add it to the Unify controller. There is this reset phase here and you introduce something and hold it until it reboots. As I said before, while blinking, it means it's uh, starting up. And when this light will be white, this means it will be ready for adoption. It gets pretty hot. I just kept it here without anything connected to it for about an hour. And I can barely keep my hand on it. So FYI, it gets hot. <laughs> okay, perfect. So now it's ready to be adapted. Let's see what happens if I try to use the Unify application. You see it's written here, independent device. This is not what I want. I would like to add it to the Unify controller, but unfortunately it doesn't work. So there is something we can do in this situation when you are not able to see it via Unify controller. And the only way to see it is here, independent device you will have to do something. For that you will need to connect via SSH to it. You use the device's IP address and username password is UBNT. So I'm doing SSH UBNT at the IP address of the device. UBNT. Okay, now that I'm connected to it, all I have to do is set inform HTTP This is the IP address of my Unify controller application. With this command, you will tell your access point to communicate with your Unify controller. Uh, this is the only way to do it. When your access point is up and running, the light is correct, is ready to be adapted, but you are not able to see on your Unify controller. The only way to do it is to issue this command via the access point itself. Now, adoption request sent to your Unify controller. You have to use the controller to complete the adapt process. And now if I switch to my Unify controller, I can see it in the list. Here I have U6 Lite pending adoption. I can do it via via web or via the application. Let's do it via the application because it's exactly the same thing. If I go here, I can still see it as independent device, but I don't want to set it up here. So ignore this. You just go to your devices. You get it from the list and adapt device. Now it is adapting. Of course, web interface interface will be adjusted accordingly. The light will change soon. Yeah, you see it's already blue. If it's blue like this, steady blue, it means normal operation. Okay, perfect. So I have it now in the list. No clients, they will get soon connected. Uh, like I said before, I have them on uh, only one wireless. So both of them are visible as one. For example, if I disconnect my computer and let it connect again, I will see if I can get it connected to this new one. Yeah, so you see MacBook Pro 16 is connected to U6 Lite. That's it. You have seen how to adapt it without Unify controller. You have seen how to do it 
when you need to add it to your Unify controller, you would need some SSH, some command line skills, but they are not difficult. You can follow my instructions and you should be able to manage it. Regarding the IP address of your Unify controller, unfortunately, I cannot give you a straight answer here. You will have to find it out in your network. You have some router or some, I don't know, Linux server, whatever, who provides the IP addresses to your network. This is where you have to, to check it out, to check the IP address of the controller. One important thing which I haven't mentioned, this access point will not have a default IP address. Perfect. So. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.